Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular WordPress video, we will understand how to create a contact form or a query form with file upload functionality. So let's say if you want to create a query form which should also include or we should also provide a feature for to the users to upload a, you know, a document, let's say a JPG or a PDF or a doc or something like that. The best use case example is that if you want to create a job application form on your website, let's say if you have a career page on which you want to accept application from those people who want to apply for job. And of course, if somebody is trying to apply, you know, trying to apply for a job, he or she is supposed to attach the CV or the resume as well. So in order to attach or, you know, upload the CV, you must have a functionality embedded in your contact form along with the name, email ID and other fields. So how to achieve this functionality? Let's check it out. In order to do the same, let me show you first that the pair, you know, already the form which we have created so far in our previous videos. So the form which we have embedded is on contact us page. And you can see here we have two forms and both of them do not have any file upload functionality. So let's try to add the file upload functionality in this form. So in order to do the same, we will go to contacts and we will click on contact forms. And here we will choose the first one. So click on edit one. And in order to add this, you are not supposed to do much things, but you, the steps is very simple. So after the fields, after the last field, that is our message in this case, we will use this tag that is file. So click on file. And if you want to make it required, just click on required and give it a name. Uh, let's say I leave it as it is file 785 file size limit. Do you want to restrict users in terms of how heavy the file should be maximum? Then in that case, you can, you know, add in bytes. So for bytes, what you can do, let's say you want to add 10 MB. So you can use MB to bytes converter, right? MB to bytes converter. Let's say if you want to restrict only 10 megabytes, right? MB that is capital MB. So if you want to only allow 10 megabytes, then you need to enter that detail. So if I say 10 megabyte, so 10 megabyte is this byte, right? So we will simply copy this, these number of bytes. It means 10 MB is the maximum file up size upload limit. So we'll simply paste it here. That is in terms of byte acceptable file format. Let's say if you want only the PDF format, the PDF, if you want more format to be allowed, then space, horizontal, a vertical separator, JPEG, for example, JPG, another example, and PNG, and click on insert tag. So the tag is inserted as soon as we click on save. Let's see first what changes is there on the form right hand side. So there is no file upload option as of now. If we refresh, now you can see there is choose file option. Right. But we also, we also need to make sure that when users submit this file, we also receive on email and somewhere else. So for that, what we need to do is we need to go to mail settings and here we just need to enter the tag, this tag, which we used file here in the file attachment. That's it. That is something we need to do. And if you are using auto response email, then the same tag also needs to be pasted in the same thing. So that user also knows that what is actual the file that he submitted. Sometimes it happens that, you know, user by mistakenly submits a wrong file and they are not aware of, about it. So if you are sending a response email, it is better to send the response of the same copy that they have submitted. So here we have done everything which is to be done in terms of setting. Now refresh the page and now let's try to submit the details. And again, we will put the details. And here we'll say demo and we'll choose the PDF. So here we can choose the PDF and we can submit the form. So as soon as we submit the form, the form is successfully submitted and we have been redirected as well. Let's check it out. On the email, we have received the PDF file as well. So you can see that we have received the PDF file as well. So that's how guys, you can create a file upload form using contact form seven easily, and you can get the uploaded file, you know, as PDF or as, you know, as an attachment of the file on your email ID as well. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, you know the drill, you need to like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our side. Whenever you update a new video, take care. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.